At nine o'clock, uh, somebody called my father as one of the most educated people there to go for a meeting with General Maric with other two persons. I saw Mladic and uh, he was uh, you know, walking uh, through the crowds and uh, giving uh, the refugees uh, bread and uh, cans of uh, Coca-Cola or something like that. And with all those cameras and, and stuff, I thought it was uh, more like a, a pro propaganda stunt. I saw between 30 and 40 buses coming down the road from town Bratunac and I saw hundreds and thousands in fact of people running towards these buses trying to board hoping that these buses would drive them away to some safe place. Da bi četnici uradili to što su radili, odvojili su sve muškarca od 12 godina pa do 77. Dobro, dobro. Hajde redom, tamo za njim. Ne, ne, vi lijevo, lijevo. Hajmo kluni, ja prijatelj. That's all. The Bosnian Serbs taking the men out and telling them to go to a house and leave all the possessions in the garden of the house. I told the Bosnian Serbs that I was an officer of the UN at that time and I wanted to see what was going on in the house. They were just gathering men over there. And they were very, very, very scared, of course. And just by being there, uh, we, we, well, that, that was all we could do. We, we weren't in control at that time. I could see uh, some Serbian soldiers. They took a man with them, uh, a Muslim man, and they executed him uh, behind the house. For as far as I could see, they didn't know uh, anyone of the UN people see, saw it. They took him behind the house. They put him with his face to the wall and shot him from behind through the head.
I was at the gate looking if I could see some familiar face among the Serb soldiers because I knew many of them from the meetings and asked them for a favor to put my brother on one of these buses so I would not have, I would not have any worries anymore. But after about two hours I realized that I could not see any men and boys in the buses anymore. It was only women and children. When I close my eyes and I think back of the refugees, I don't see a man of my, my age. Nobody. Some women try to tell me that their men were gone and killed by the Serbs. At that time, I didn't know anything and I didn't believe them. So I tried to calm them down. I said, we are here, not, nothing will happen. Znate, kad jedno, za jedan čas, ljudi umiru, vještaju, vješaju se, oni odvode i kolju i rađaju se ljudi. Sve to u jednom se trenu dešava, na domak tebi možda o deset metara. I ti ne znaš šta se dešava. Znate, negdje se život gasi, negdje počinje. Ne, ne, ne znam da vam kažem, ne znam. There were a lot of soldiers, um, every three or four meters, there were two soldiers uh, facing uh, the woods, the Bosnian Muslims uh, would come. They were just waiting for them and the Muslims couldn't go anyway uh, because uh, the entire road was, uh, was locked by, uh, by the Bosnian Serbs. I was crossing a town called Nova Kasaba and there were a lot of people uh, gathering at the football field of Nova Kasaba. As they were gathering those men as prisoners of war. They were sitting on their knees with their hands in their neck and they were uh, just lined up, hundreds of men. Yes. Tek uspijevam da izađem od 13. jula iz protočara. Tako da ja imam puno sreći, uspijevam da prođem sa djetetom, suprugom, čak je i majka moja bila u, u kampu i uspijevamo da uđemo.